TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high-quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. Hey guys, I'm here at the 2023 Work Truck Show in Indianapolis with a pretty special new vehicle. This is the brand new Mercedes-Benz E Sprinter or electric uh, Sprinter van. And here I have one of the guys from Mercedes. Hey. Hey, Ishas, can you int introduce yourself, please? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm Ishas Jolly. Um, I work for Mercedes-Benz Vans in product management uh, as the product sales engineer. Well, thanks, dude. Yeah. So can you show me around this uh, new van? Because absolutely. this is one of the first kind of debuts for this vehicle, right? In Ab the North America. Absolutely. So this is actually going to be our uh, electric van. We're calling it the all-new e-sprinter. Um, it's actually going to be produced first in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, it's going to come, or we're launching uh, in the second half of 2023 in a cargo 170 wheelbase um, with a high roof. So this is what we're seeing here. That's what we're seeing right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, let's take a wider view. I know it's a big vehicle. Yeah, absolutely, big, big for van. sure. Um, so the form factor, I mean, if I didn't, if you didn't have a little electric <laughs> badge on it, I probably would not have known it was electric. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the key things that we were, you know, wondering or making sure is that from an upfit perspective, right, 80% of our vans right now get upfitted. And we wanted to make sure that, you know, from an exterior and also from an interior, we kept as much of the real estate the same as possible. Um, obviously, there's going to be some differences when you are building inside the van, and we, may, we can talk about that in a second, but that's that was the idea, is that we wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Um, obviously, one of the key things that we should know from the outside is, you know, the star is, uh, that's actually where our onboard charger is going to be. Um, in the front, okay. In the front, yep. Okay. So you can actually pop it right here, and then it actually opens up, and you can actually have your combined charger system right there. Um, this so this is the... Um AC or in DC? That's correct, yeah. So, at, so basically you have your AC level two on the top and then you've got your fast charging capability on, you know, on both, both of yeah. them, of course. Um, with level, with the fast charging, I should say the DC fast charging, um, we actually have 50 kilowatts as standard on every single e-sprinter. Um, but as an optional upgrade, we can actually give you a 115 kilowatt um, fast charging capability. And that's actually going to take about 42 minutes to uh, charge the vehicle. And okay. how, how big is the battery? It, it, yeah, in here? so the battery is 113 kilowatt hours. Um, that's how big it is. Um, okay. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, so which means, you know, two things that we like to say with lithium iron phosphate batteries is uh, one is it's uh, free of cobalt and nickel. Uh, and so those are some rare earth materials. Yeah. And two is uh, the cell degradation actually is quite low with lithium iron phosphate batteries. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's jump in. Well, uh, while we're here, yeah. let's talk about charging infrastructure, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. A, a little bit. So, I mean, some bigger businesses or even small businesses could purchase this, right? So what absolutely. are some of the options? Yeah, so, you know, obviously we are, from a charging perspective, we're obviously have, looking for partners and working with partners. As you can see, this is ChargePoint is one of our partners. Um, you know, that's going to be a really interesting conversation with them as well as to how they're looking to broaden their horizon. Uh, we will be launching with something called Mercedes Me Charge sometime in the future, um, which will obviously be a really good uh, platform to allow anybody to essentially through our head unit uh, access charging infrastructure and, and stations. find locations. And find and locations. Sensor. Yeah, absolutely. So because you know this van could be charged, for, for example, at home. Yep, that's if, right. Uh, if a uh, if a contractor is taking it home, right? Exactly. They could do that if yes. they have a level two. Absolutely. Uh, or at the depot or something like that, right? Exactly, yeah. So you can, because of course it's AC and DC capable, um, you can have anything from a wall box to a complete fast charger station available. So in here, it seems kind of standard Sprinter. Yeah. I mean, right? It does. So I think, you know, if you want to, if we go in, actually, I'll come on the other side. Okay. Let me jump in here. You know, one of the things that we obviously uh, wanted to make sure is that a lot of the functionality from a, from a vehicle perspective is, is pretty much the same, right? So you can see that um, right from the get-go with this steering wheel right here, um, it is actually going to be the only big difference in this van because uh -huh. this steering wheel is a heated steering wheel. Okay. And that's going to be standard. Um, we do offer obviously heated seating as well. Um, but the instrument cluster is, you know, is our digital instrument cluster. We've got our um, MBUX system with the 10 inch screen. That's gonna be the option available. And actually, if you see on the instrument cluster there, it gives you, you know, your, your range, 
Um, and then it actually tells you how much miles that you've actually, obviously just like a normal adopter. In percentage, and battery. percentage. Yeah. Um, and actually on the MBUX as well, it's gonna be like a really intuitive way to see what this vehicle is capable of from a charging perspective. So this gauge on the right, I can see in my gauge cluster, is unique to the um, eSprinter, of course, because- Yeah, no RPMs anymore. Uh, well, yeah, but but the, at the bottom it says, you know, max power, zero from it's, 100, right? Yes, and that's well, gonna be your battery power as well. And what's um, what's the horsepower or what's the- Yeah, so the motor, so the motor we actually the motor have- like? We actually have two different motor variants. Um, the first, we have a 100 kilowatt motor available. Um, and then we actually have a, uh, 150 kilowatt motor available and essentially uh, the 100 kilowatt is going to be 136 horsepower and the 150 kilowatt is going to be about 204 horsepower. So it's comparable to the turbo diesel model actually yeah, very as similar. far as horsepower. As far as incredible. horsepower of course. Yeah, yeah. The torque, torque curve is different. different. Yeah. yeah the torque curve is a little different of course but uh, yeah um, I think that's going to be obviously something that is you know, very, very interesting for any driver to be able to use. I gotcha. So I was just gonna actually show you just some, you know, sort of some of the, sorry, I'm just reaching that, over that, here. That's okay, quick. that's okay. You know, just some of the functionalities we have, we obviously have consumption, we have like a, we call this our eco circle that tells you, okay, are you, you know, sort of coasting? Are you, you have a constant power, are you an accelerating? And then of course with the MBUX itself, um, we call, it's our next generation MBUX. Mm -hmm. So you can see if you click on some of these things here, if I actually switch on the vehicle, if you press the brake there oh, real yeah. quick. I mean, we're inside, but we That's could actually right. power up. That's right, you can power up and there's no, there's no problem with gas, yeah. right? Yeah. So you can see here, right there, there's a visual understanding of what does, uh, what is the actual charging capability of this vehicle, right? So it's 87%, um, 215 mile range, if I increase the AC right there, uh -huh. it'll actually, in real time, reduce the range option And show you the difference. And show uh -huh. you the difference, which, uh -huh. is, which is really obviously very cool. So you, you know, there's little opportunity for surprise, right? That's so, right, yeah, that's so exactly that's, how it is. Yeah, you know what you're getting basically with this vehicle. <laughs> cool. And then the, the cargo area is basically kind of standard Sprinter, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, a lot of the interior is gonna be uh, pretty much the same uh, from the side walls to the roof to the floor. Um, the only key thing to note is, of course, because you do have the battery and the motor. So the battery is kind of like right here underneath this area. Uh -huh, and then the, the motor is towards the rear axle. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not sort of drilling or, or doing anything that would potentially in harm that integrity of those components. And you have those kind of specific instructions, right? If Correct. there's an upfitter or... And Mercedes provides certain certification, right, and upfits as well. Yeah, so we do have something called an expert upfitter program. Um, and that's basically as part of our trusted partner network. So we work with some partners, um, you know, who we've had relationships with and are all, all, always open to, you know, new relationships as well. Um, these are partners that conform to our body and equipment guidelines as we have them. And it's just a really good way to have an upfitted vehicle because at the end of the day this is a partnership we create the base chassis but the upfitters are the ones that sort of go in and uh you know kind of create the completed product after the fact gotcha well yeah. can you show me the battery because you yeah, also have a display over there we do yeah but there is one thing you can tell you all about it you're good yeah we go walking through yeah, so we, we basically have the battery right here, obviously, to show you how, what it looks like. And I think the first thing you'll notice is it's quite big. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, uh, so this is what's inside this fan? This is what's exactly 113, inside. 113. 113 kilowatt hour battery. Okay. Um, this is, you know, this is the crash structure right here. So this is actually where it mounts to the vehicle underneath, right, with these sort of mounting holes. Um, this is the battery itself. Okay. So it's a lithium iron phosphate battery, as I talked last time. Um, it is obviously integrated into this crash structure to make sure that it's completely encased in terms of any sort of incident. Um, one thing I will mention is that this battery comes with a very optimal thermal energy management system, right? Any sort of heat loss that from, comes from this battery is recovered into the vehicle. Um, and so that's where this vehicle has uh, modes like uh, regenerative braking. It has drive modes. Uh, the drive modes actually are very similar to what you have in a car. Oh. An eco, a max range, and a comfort mode. Uh, comfort is basically gonna be your max performance. Everything's available, your max heating and uh, cooling capacity. 
and your max range is going to be where everything is focused on conserving battery. So even your heating and cooling is going to be a little bit lower than what you would have normally. And the battery has its own conditioning. So, it does. Um, you know, if you're preparing for charging or if it's really cold outside, that type of stuff. Exactly. So there's always, you know, there's all, the BMS is always looking to make sure that the battery is at an optimal state. Because as you, I'm sure you're aware, there's a lot of conditions that, you know, batteries are very finicky things, right? There's ambient temperature, battery temperature, state of charge is all going to impact that. So yeah. there's a constant monitoring system for that. And final question as we were kind of walking back yeah. to, to the van, uh, what about pricing? How, how does the pricing compare to like a comparable diesel uh, Yeah, so van? We, we don't have any pricing available on this van right okay. now. Um, so that's, that's all I can share with you for now, but of course expect something to come out uh, towards the later half of this year. Because that's when these are available, That's right? when they're available, so the second half of this year. 2023. That's right. Well, I really appreciate it. That, that's a very thorough uh, yeah. overview. So, absolutely. So really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you very much. Appreciate the time. And uh, yeah, enjoy the, the rest of the show. Sounds good, thanks.